Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Thomas Tropics. Today I want to make a short unboxing. I got some seeds from my favorite seed seller from Exotninsel from Germany. And yeah, I want to show you what I got, what I bought. So yeah, let's go in. That's a lot of new species for me. This is a variegated passion fruit. So yeah, I got two seeds. And I will make a, like a planting video and I will show you how I plant the seeds. This is Bacorea Moteana white. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they are germinated. Um, I saw some roots. But yeah, they are germinated. Here you can see it on the top. So very, very good seed quality. This is button mangosteen. Some of you know maybe the queen of fruits, the purple mangosteen. This fruit is five times better, but it has a very bad shelf life, so you can't get it until you plant a tree. So yeah, I got six seeds. I want to have some of these. I'm I was searching for this like for three years or so. So yeah, very excited. Here I got the Garcinia Madruno. It's also in the purple mangosteen family. Garcinia Madruno has yellow, yellowish skinned fruit. Also very good tasting fruit. I think they can bear fruit in pots. So yeah, very interesting or interested. Then I have here a rare Eugenia, this is Eugenia, uh, it's, it's not very rare, but also very good fruit. It's the Eugenia stipitata. You can make very good juices out of this. I got one in the Dominican Republic, so very good. It's a little bit on the sour side, but good tasting fruit. Here I got The Eugenia Campinia, it's a very rare one. Um, the fruit collectors under you, um, Miguel from Portugal, has this fruiting. It's the yellowish pear shaped Eugenia, very rare, also very good for Eugenias. The, um, uh, papaya from Thailand, nothing special, but I like the taste of the papayas from there. So yeah, then we have uh, Anona, it's from Bahia, it's called Floha Lisa, a rare Anona. Um, I can't find the seed. I think they are very small, so I can't show you that. Here I got two seeds from Murciaria guacuella. I have two plants, but I heard they are very good. So I thought, yeah, two more. Nothing can go wrong. They aren't germinated yet, but yeah, stay tuned. Then we have more button mangosteens. Not German yet, but I will grow them. I will, I will have some. Then I have the uh, Donguntia. It's in the Anona species. The Lancelota, um, very good tasting fruit. Looks very strange, like a katsura. If some of you know katsura fruits, how they look. Oh, here is a germinated one. 
you can see this. Yeah, you can. There's a root coming. So, really cool. Thanks, Matthias. And then we have a Murciaria cuspitata orange. So, the fruit has an orange color, the skin. Then we have the black one. So the skin is black when the fruit is ripe. And the yellow one, yes, there are three different types of the Cuspitata available. So really cool. Um, Mercearias um, can be grown in pots. So I have like, I think 18 different varieties. So they are really strong plants. They can handle different potting soils. It can handle dry, wet, so yeah, really cool. And they're strong growing the first year, they're on the slower side, but then they are taking off. So I have, how I said, 18 different ones. And here we have, that's a really, really rare one. This Mercearia was found this year. It's yeah, how I said, something really rare. Usually Musiarias are with yellow skin or orange skin, but it's very rare with red skin. There are only the Musiaria um, glomorata with red skin, and but small fruits, very good taste. And this one is with Big fruits, Mercearias usually don't have big fruits, so this is the first one with really big fruits, really good taste, red flesh, red skin, so yeah. One seed I think in the States is sold for $100 and I think um, Exotninsel from Germany are selling them for also for $100, so yeah, they will be pretty fast sold out so if you want I will give you a link down the video and you can take a look and the last one is Eugenia Arenosa also a really rare one from the Cerrado Cerrado region from Brazil it's a dry region everyone thinks oh Brazil there is a lot of rain but no they have a dry forest over there so yeah if you are in the in a drier region so go and and look out for fruits from the Cerrado region from Brazil so you will be able to grow them don't worry you plant the seed first they drop a really deep root a tap root and then they are starting to grow above the soil it takes the first year you will have a really little plant and then they will grow a little bit faster. So yeah, also really good fruit, really rare and for dry regions. So yeah, thanks for watching this short video. I hope you liked it. I can't show you the fruit pictures now because I don't have them fruiting. So I, I don't want to use others pictures. So yeah, let me thumb up. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and we will see us the next time. Bye friends.